Hi, my name is Kate. Welcome to my channel. Today we will be talking about music in Spark AR. If you want to know basic information about how to integrate music into your AR filters, keep watching. But if you want to dive in deeper, join my classes on Skillshare. You get two months free access to all classes on Skillshare, not only mine. Link is in the description. So let's say you found a good sound. Your next step is to convert it to M4A format. It's the format for Spark Air Studio. You may use any converter you like. You may simply go to Google and type convert MP3 to M4A. And here you have many, many converters. You may choose you may choose any, any of them. But today I'm gonna use this website online convert. <clears throat> it's audioonlineconvert.com. So it's really easy. I'm gonna choose uh, my MP3 file. Then I change the sampling rate to 44, 100. Change audio channels to mono. And I can trim my audio if I need. And yes, I do need. <laughs> I want to trim it from the beginning to 10 seconds. And here, audio codec, I choose AAC. My music has been uploaded. Now I just click on Start Conversion. And here it is, my M4A audio. All right, now I click on download. And that's it. The next step is to add music to our project. All right, let's add music to our project. Our first step is to create audio playback controller. Go to Assets panel, click on Add Asset, and find Audio Playback Controller. You can rename it if you'd like to. Now, select the controller and take a look at its properties in the inspector. First of all, let's click here and add our music. Check this box to let the music play. And if you want it to play circles, check the loop box. Next step is to create a speaker on the scene panel. Add object, speaker, insert. All right, now in its properties, choose our audio playback controller. Yay! <laughs> we can adjust the volume. Now, let me set the volume to zero. So, of course, you can create speaker first and then the controller. It doesn't matter. Now, let's learn how to turn the music on and off by tapping on the screen. First of all, let's open patch editor. I need uh, the screen tab patch. Okay, now select our audio playback controller and create patch from play. Okay, we can simply connect these two patches and you'll see that the patch switch is created automatically. Okay, now let's test it. First of all, I go, I go back to speaker and adjust the volume to 50. Now click here, select simulate touch. Now touch. And here's the music. Touch again, no music. All right, it works. You may have noticed that video is unmuted by default when scrolling through your timeline on Instagram. 
Instagram takes the same approach on effect. So if you want users to hear the audio in your filter, you need to give them a clue. Let's add the custom instruction which informs that the effect has sound. Project, Projects Properties, Capabilities, click on plus, Find Instructions, open it, click on Custom Instructions, click on plus again, and find the instruction this effect includes sound. Insert. Done. To add the instruction to your project, go to Patch Editor, select Device, find Custom Instructions and create Instructions or Instruction on Opening. The Instructions token was inserted automatically. Here you can adjust the time, for example, let's say it. 10, restart, this effect includes sound, it should be 10 seconds, I think, yeah, 10 seconds, 7, 8, 10, and the instruction disappears. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this video was helpful, if so, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Also, you might want to check out my second channel where I will be talking about electronics, devices and gadgets. Subscribe if you want to watch me more.